Hey everybody, Tim Weigel here, Watson Realty. Give me a little quick update for the market of real estate in Castleberry, primarily covering the month of October, 2023. Um, I hope you had a spooky time last month and I hope you're ready to give some thanks this month. So let's go ahead and get started. So today we are going to review Casper's real estate market for October, as well as dive a little bit into the rental market and the investment market. And then, of course, the current mortgage market before we call it a day. So the real estate market looking over the last five years for October. So back going back to October 2019, we had 45 homes sold. Days on market was about 52 days for $233,000 is the median sales price. Now let's go ahead and jump to October of 2023. 35 homes sold, so 10 homes less than we saw back then. Uh, 35 days on market, so still pretty fast average going on. And the median sales price of a whopping $353,500. So, which that's up about, what, $120,000, $500, give or take, from five years ago. So, you can really show the growth that we've been seeing. Now, one thing to point out, because interest rates do keep going up higher and higher, and with those interest rates going up higher, it's going to pull back the market a little bit on pricing, which we did see, if you look from October to of last year to this year, we dropped from 365 to 353. So not a huge drop, but nonetheless, it is a cooling off of the market, which this has always been anticipated going into 2023, that this was what we're going to see. But on the other side of it, the reason why we're not seeing a lot of downward pressure is because we have less homes for sale. So law of supply and demand, Still have a decent amount of people looking to buy. Don't have enough homes to sell them. So it's going to keep that where you're not going to see as much losses as the media might be portraying. Now let's go ahead and jump into the rental market. So comparing October of last year to October of this year, average days on market, 36 days last year, 44 this year. So it is going a little bit longer, but median rent, 1950 last year, 2295 this year. So we did see an increase about $345 a month. And again, that's because you got a lot more people that instead of buying because of the interest rates, they are going to rent until the rates come down. So they're forced driving up the prices of rent. However, my recommendation is if you are able to and willing to buy, your mortgage is still going to be less than what you're paying in rent. The only difference is you're now saving money. So you're going to build wealth for your family for generations to come. Now, some people would be like, well, the 8% rent rate or whatever, mortgage rate. I don't like the sounds of that. No one likes the sounds of that. But you can also refinance in a year. Or we can negotiate to get those interest rates down a little bit for you. So which we are seeing from time to time. Now, let's look at the investments. Uh, no income-producing properties. Close in October again. Finding uh, duplexes or other multiplexes is not going to be very common in the Casper area. They're out there, but they're far and few between. And they're kind of cash cows for their investors, so they're not open to selling them that easily. But taking what the rent jumped up to in October, based off what the median sales price is in October, we did see an uptick of what your typical return on investment could be, approximately 7.79%, which is very, very healthy. I mean, look at what you're getting paid in your savings account or checking account. It's not that much. So this is a very healthy return right there.
Now, mortgage rates were going about 8% going into last week. But as the week went on, we had some positive economic indicators, including the Fed, which kind of signaled, hey, we're done raising rates, which the stock market had some pretty huge gains at the end of the week because of those comments. So, and the mortgage rates kind of repriced a little bit and came down to where you're expecting on a conventional 7.5 to 7.875. That's good. Now in the city of Castleberry or 32707 zip code per se, out of all the homes sold in October, just over 25% are more cash deals. 51.43% were conventional, uh, which out of those conventional, they were uh, three of them had seller concessions. Now, FHA, 14.29%, where FHA had a few more seller concessions on there. And with the VA, 8.57%, which was an uptick from uh, September, because those are usually a little less, was one seller concession. So that's a good thing. Seller concessions are really what's helping buyers get those lower interest rates. And they're out there, and people are willing to do it. So if you want to know more about that, please give me a call. So I hope you enjoyed this little update on Castleberry. Love to hear from you. Connect with me. Uh, give me a call. You can shoot me a text with this phone number, uh, email address, and that's my website. Please feel free to check it out. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And I hope the month of November is a blessing waiting to happen.